Hello everyone, welcome to our mushroom man tutorial. Now I was a bit lazy for this one and didn't actually make any examples prior. It's always what you want to hear. <laughs> but um, obviously there's a picture of him right here and as I work along with you guys hopefully that should make it a bit easy. But welcome, my name's B. I run a business called Bee's Quirky Creations, hence the name Quirky Creations. I've said it before and I'll say it again. <laughs> um, but yeah, so today we're going to be making two cute little mushroom men. So we're starting out with a guy this size, and then you'll also be making a little miniature version. So you can see um, here, if you bought one of our kits, you should have, you know, your template mat, your clay, some super glue, and also a little needle for your detailing. But if not, um, you can go out and buy all this stuff yourself. And honestly, you don't need the template mat. It is just very helpful. It's a bit more difficult without it, of course, but you'll still be good to go. So let's get started. Okay, so starting off, you can see we've got our lovely assortment of clay. So this bigger lot here, we've got, um, I refer to these little ones as eighths um, because it's an eighth of an actual Sculpey block. Um, so we've got five eighths of white, two of the red, and then we've got four eighths of the white and one red for the little guy. Um, it's technically three and a half, and then we use half of this for all the spots on our little mushroom tops. But let's get started. All right, so uh, starting off, I like to use, I think it's four. Let's see how four goes to begin with. Um, now you can see here, so this is the basis of just um, the portion sizes. So these little ones are for the big body, little body, our feeties little feeties and then this one here is for the arms so starting off um, also make sure you do have wipes as well any bits of dust or fluff is gonna stick onto your clay really easily I think I've already got little bits on there too I have pets so it's a uh, absolute mission to keep everything clean just wipe it down wipe my hands again all right so I'm gonna grab four of my blocks mush that up and we're gonna start off with the body for our big guy first. I always say it's easy to start out bigger and then work your way down to the little fiddly things. Alright, so I'm just going to smoosh it up, make it nice and soft, and I'm not sure if you can actually see that on the camera, but it's already a little bit dirty. <laughs> no stress though, I don't mind. Now, I'm going to roll it up into a ball. I'm going to make sure it's nice and smooth because this will make it easier for your next part when we actually start sculpting the body. Yeah, that'll do. <clears throat> nice. That looks pretty good to me. What we're going to do now is grab three. Yep. Three of the other ones and we'll do our little guy's body. So I like to go through and roll out all the balls and then from there that's when I'll start making it all properly. Rolly, rolly. Oh, that guy's a bit bodged, but that'll do. Alright. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So now, what we do with this one is we're going to break it in half for the two legs. This one, we're going to break that in half. So I've got my two halves. This is going to go aside for our mushroom spots, while this going to be our little feeties. So I'm going to roll it up into two balls so it's always hard to uh, get them nice and even. Cool. And then I'm going to take a pinch out of each of those and this will be for our little mushroom arms. Roll them up again. Do, 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 do. Got our cute little feeties. Now for this one, we'll do the same. We're going to break this in half. I don't think that was very good, the breaking. And then I'm going to do a little pinch out of each of those. Probably more out of that one, actually. I think it's a bit bigger. Roll that up into a ball. Whoa. Hello. Alright, it's a bit big, so I'm going to roll this up and see which one needs a bit more. A bit more. Add a bit more to that. 
nice. So it's like borderline. You can see here, hopefully it shows on the camera as well as I can actually see it here. But we don't really want to exceed that black line. You always want to make sure that you're just in or like on the border. If you go over, then it means you're going to throw out the sizes of all your little, you know, your body, your arms and legs and whatnot. Of course, all of this is upon personal preference, so do what you want at the same time. <laughs> you do you, hey? Great saying. Okay, <laughs> cool. So I'm going to pop that aside for my spots for now. That should be plenty enough, that's for sure. And then going to move on and make our little bodies so for this one what we're going to do and I might actually zoom it in quickly to so I'm give myself a little wipe down so what we're going to do with this one is it's sort of hard to describe I grab two little fingers and I do a really gentle pinching and twisting you can see as I do that I'm kind of getting this obscure shape happening I'm going to try and make this nice bulby shape. So if you're not a fan of my technique, of course, try it out yourself and see how you want to go about it. But I just like to do this rolling method. And you can see if I'm really gentle, it creates this nice shape. So we're starting to get there now. It's pretty good. So you can see we also want to drag this outwards. So with our little guy, he's got his body and then he's got his head, which sort of comes up and underneath the uh, hat. The little mushroom top. So what I'm gonna do now is really gently use my finger to drag and you can see how it's getting that nice little top about it. So ideally you want the white to be sort of similar size to this because this is going to be the size of our big guy's mushroom hat. So I'm just gonna really gently, if you're running out of clay in this section you can always grab more from here. So I'm just going to drag that up a bit, a bit more clay to work with, beautiful. Now it looks a bit messy now but don't worry we'll go through and smooth that out and then you also get to go through with your needle and do those details, little scratch marks. Notice that some bits get thicker than uh, thicker, thinner than the others, and of course some are thicker too. Make it a bit tricky sometimes. So, right, I'm just going to drag it a little bit further. I don't think I'm going to go all the way to the ends this time round. It's not necessarily dire. Sweet. Yeah, I'm going to leave it just like that. The red's obviously going to come out a little bit, but as we attach it, you can sort of do a bit of a dragging to fix that up. It'll make more sense when we get there. <clears throat> Alrighty. Now, if you have a look, see over here. So we've got our body, which is looking quite similar to what we've got here. Sit in like that. We're going to go through on our little feeties and our arms. So for the feet, <coughs> sorry, losing my voice, this part's really easy. So I'm just going to do one finger, roll it. You can see we've got this shape happening. Just going to squish both sides and then do one more roll. So it looks like what we've got on the mat here. I'll do that again. And then the arms, you want to break that little ball into two. And we're going to roll them out. Now, I do like it to be a bit thicker on one end than the um, actual arm. I mean, if you think about it, a human's arm, it's a bit thicker up the top. It gets nice and skinny in your wrists. So I'm going to do a bit of a graduation. I think that'll do lengthwise. You don't want it to be too long. And I'll just... Round over the end. Do, do, do. If you all love my <laughs> narration. Okay. Lovely. Maybe a little bit long. Let's see how that goes. 
Now we've got that, it's just a matter of popping them all together. So it's very fun. I might actually give them a bit more height. So I'm gonna do a bit of a roll. We're back. Don't know what happened, but some of the filming uh, stuffed up. <laughs> I can't pull this guy apart. So that's a bit annoying. Anyway, I put all the body pieces on um, and I've gone through and I've done some blending with the end of my needle just to make sure it's all properly attached. Um, but yeah, go through and I'll do the little guy now. I was going to speed it up, but I'll show you again. <laughs> Hopefully the filming doesn't stop this time. Alright. So, same thing. I'm going to do that pinch and roll. Like so. And then we'll use this top section. to pull this out. Now, my rule for this little dude is, yeah, more or less to aim towards this sort of size. So I'm already there. I'm actually going to go a little bit bigger. You can see the sort of ratio as to how big this one's hat, well, hat, head, whatever it is, pops out the side. So we're going to go a bit further with that one. You'll find if you have fingernails, you will struggle a bit with this. It's really hard not to sort of shove your fingernails in certain spots and create those little indents. Go a little bigger. Do -do -do. Let's slip that one aside, we'll roll those feet out, little marshmallows, oh my goodness, I live right on the main road so it's pretty noisy here. Of course it was really quiet all day and then I decided to stop filming and I don't even know what's going on down the road. There's roadworks or something. This weird jackhammer sound. So hopefully it doesn't come across on film too noisy for you guys. Alright, I've got my little teeny tiny arms and legs. I'm gonna find that middle point again, make sure we don't put it too far to the front or the back. We don't want our mushroom man wobbling. Like that. Oi, I squished him in just a little too much. There we go. Looks like he's hugging his belly. Alright, and now for the smoothing part, what we missed out on before <laughs> is so make sure everything's definitely pushed down nicely. You don't want them to come off straight away when you're pulling on them. I swear that is getting noisier. <laughs> Noisy road works. All right, I'll stop whinging about it. So I'm gonna go through and just smooth them all. And we're doing this just so it looks like, um, I guess the whole thing is one. So it just looks like one big blob of white rather than <clears throat> separate little pieces. So don't stress about this looking messy too. I'll go back and we'll fix that. Um, plus, you're going to be doing a bit of a scratching motion over the top of the whole body, so that will help even out any sort of impurities or <clears throat> indents that you're not a big fan of. Do a little bit to the arms there. You can see the camera. And I only do really this top section for the arms. Of course, same as us. Our arms are touched up here, and then we've got this little bit sort of Flailing around. <laughs> Flailing. <laughs> cool. Go to the other side. 
beautiful. All right, moving on. We've got both our cute little mushroom men, the big one and the little one. We're gonna be doing our hats. So two for the big guy, one for the little. Start off as always, just smushing it all up. Now, when you're working with this red, depending on the actual um, variety of red I've given you, sometimes there's a few like off tone, like this one's poppy, whereas usually we'll use red hot red. Um, but again, it all depends on the availability. So you can't really see it on camera. This one's not too bad, but it does leave a bit of red residue. So make sure when you've done with these bits, give your hands a really good wipe before you start touching your white again. Otherwise, you'll end up with pink little mushroom men. Alright, I'm gonna roll that up. And then I'll do the same for this little guy. Give it a smush. So I'm usually not one to be a negative Nelly, but I'm having a terrible time today with this filming. <clears throat> I went and did this and it cut out on me again. <laughs> I was supposed to speed it up, but nope. I'll show you how to do it with the little guys. So we've got our lovely hat on and I'll show you how to go about doing it with our little one. So I've got my ball. I'm just going to really gently twist it around. And you can see I'm getting sort of this nice rounded top, but a nice flat bottom. And that is ideal because you can see here we've got that rounded top and you can see that it uh, sort of drags out into a nice thin bit like this guy here. Got that little bubble and then it's super thin on the sides. So to do that, just a matter of really, really gently pulling it all out. Ensuring that you still have that little bump in the middle. And it's a very pretty much a similar process to if you've made our um, gnome hats before. Similar thing, of course, you're starting with a circle and not a little cone shape, but that whole dragging technique is, yeah, the same. Nice. How does that fit on top? Oh, a smidgen more. Just a little smidge. Sweet whip. I'm just going to check to make sure it's still filming. Lovely. I'm going to show you how to attach this hat. So, we're just going to push it on top. Of course, make sure none of that white showing. You can see on this side. And with this one, it was a bit, the white was a bit small, so I kind of dragged that out with it. But with this one, we'll just do a really gentle pressing. Make sure it's fully attached. Push down on the bottom as well, on the bottom of the middle. Sweet. Now I'm just gonna pinch it once more around those edges, make sure it's nice and thin. Beautiful. And I got it on camera. Lovely. All right. So everything, the bulk of our cuties are done. Now it's just a matter of going through and doing our little details, which is pretty easy compared to the rest of it. So we'll get to that now. Starting off with our big guy. It's starting to rain again. I've been trying to beat it because I'm in a tin roof room. So it gets really noisy. So I'm up close and personal with the camera at the moment. So I can show you the details of these guys. Oh, excuse me. So you can see how I've blended really yellow, this little arm, these guys. So what I'm going to do now with my finger, and again it helps if you don't have long nails, mine's sort of like the border. And I'm just going to really gently blend it. And you can see there, it's already a bit cleaner. Gosh, I've done a good job, haven't I? <laughs> So you just want to blend it all, smooth that out, and I more or less sort of drag very slightly, but it's more like a sort of pressing motion. 
All right, that'll do for now. What we're gonna do, if you have a look down here, I've got this cute little smile going on. So I'm going to pull his hat back. And we're gonna draw on the little cutie eyeballs. Well, eyelids, I guess. So it's up to you guys. You don't have to do this face at all. You can do whatever you want. But this is my little cute personal preference. So I do it and then I'll press just to clean up any of that excess mess. Get that clay off the end. And I'll go through again just to make it really defined, really deep. And clay on it. Cute. And then I'll go over here. And this was actually someone's idea on Facebook. I just did a standard guy with no smile, but someone said that you should do it whistling, which I thought was super cute. So I went ahead and did that. Alright. And then on the side, I do just a little, little line, just to sort of show that his mouth's off to the side. Sorry, it just looks funny on camera. Alright. I'll do for now. I'll come back and fix him again later. Now, what you're going to do, if you guys know how mushrooms work, they've got those little gills underneath. So I'm going to go through and do a really good scratching motion all underneath that mushroom hat. Like so. Oh, let's be careful of that. I did a little bit of scratching on the red and then I've dragged it back through, so want to be careful. Cut out on me again. <laughs> so what I was saying is <clears throat> you can see that they're not quite as intense and deep as the ones that are up here. Just really really light scratching. I've got fluff and all sorts of bits and bobs through mine. I did not clean my hands thoroughly enough. almost done so yeah if I wanted to be really picky I would go through and I would smooth those sections just a smidge more as I said I'm trying to chase not chase the rain run away from the rain I don't I don't know um, basically oh hello you can see the pink pink feeties um, yeah basically I go through and I try and make that a bit smoother more like that side um, but even still I would probably be a bit more out uh, anal about that if I was actually making a piece to sell but I'm hoping that you know without me actually smoothing those bits you guys still get a really good gist of of course what it's gonna look like and how to do it that light is terrible too oh all right <laughs> so I'll go through and do this little cutie now and then we'll come back and see the final result after I've fixed it up a bit more. We are back. I've gone through and I did the spots on this cutie guy and it totally makes it. Totally makes it. So go through and show you how I did the spots on this one. It's pretty straightforward though. You can see I've just got lots of different sized balls. There's my hand for reference. Um, you do want to be careful, of course, with your sizes. You don't want to go too big. So say this one here, you see that when I prop it down, 
it does get fatter so it's almost doubled in size and it's just a matter of going through and just pushing them all in place I like having the combination of big and small oh, hello. back in the camera I'm still trying to <clears throat> race that rain So once I get these spots done, we will head over to the oven and that's when we'll bake these goodies. So that's the cool thing with polymer clay is um, it's actually an oven baked clay. So it stays this soft consistency pretty well forever, unless it gets too hot in a room, then it gets a bit crumbly. Um, but yeah, it's very similar to Play-Doh. I, well, I say it's sort of a cross between Play-Doh and Plasticine. Not as soft as Play-Doh, but not as hard as Plasticine. But hence the name Polly, it does have some plastics in it. So you want to make sure your house is nice and ventilated whilst baking. But you can absolutely just do it in your sort of standard oven in the kitchen. I also have a little convection oven that I use when I'm on the go, which also works really well. I'm going to put my last spot right there. Pop it off to the side, hey? And I just push them all down so they're somewhat one with it. You can have it bubbled still, or you can completely smush them down. It's up to you guys. I like to leave them just a little bit bubbly though. Just a little. All right. And I also like to always have one side at the front sort of frothed upwards so you can see the little cute face. So I'll do that for each of them. Also make sure that they're standing perfectly straight before baking, otherwise you'll come across a few problems. They'll tumble over afterwards. All right, nice. So go pop those in the oven, we'll see how we go. Okay, my mushroom friends, time to be baked. So I've got them on this ceramic tile, which I really like using for my clay. Um, it heats really evenly, doesn't burn the bums or the bottoms of your clay. Um, and it's also just really good to work with because the clay doesn't stick to it. But any old baking tray will do the job. So I'm gonna chuck it in my lovely dirty oven. And I've got it, sometimes I can be a bit impatient and put it to 200, but we'll play it safe. 180 is the minimum that you want to bake clay at. I always like to start at 5 minutes. Actually, I'm going to go a couple more because it wasn't preheated. So start at 5 minutes, I'll check it, and then I sort of come back at intervals and continue to check it then. So we'll be back in 5, oh, no, sorry, 7. All right, we've done five minutes in the oven. Well, seven, but five preheated. Let's have a look at how they're doing. So I can already start to smell those polymer clay fumes. What I'm gonna do is I'll turn him around and I'm just gonna press into his back there. So you can see there my fingernails still going through, which means it's not ready. What'll happen when it's cooked is it sort of bounces back. Your fingernails shouldn't be able to go through. Um, it'll also start to smoke a little bit, but keep in mind that the hats are probably already cooked. Yeah, um, they're already baked. It's just this big chubby section that's going to be taking a bit longer. So I'm going to go for two more minutes, no, three more minutes. Oh, here's a wobbly one. Well, you're just going to hang forward, aren't you? I'm going to go... Ugh. Three more minutes, see how they go. Okie dokie. Oh look, you can see some of that smoke now. That's a good sign. Let's poke their little bums and see what happens. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Oh, pressed a little hard. There's a slight indentation, but I'm happy with that. So what'll happen is, <clears throat> They'll cool down and that's when they'll be completely solid. But until then, they do have a little bit of um, flexibility and bend to them. So you're gonna be really careful whilst moving them around when they're warm, wait till they're completely cool and that's when you can handle them and you know, get rough with them. <laughs> and that is our mushroom men tutorial done. You see these guys had a bit of a hard life, dirty hands, <laughs> pink bits. But 
they're looking super cute. So I think in total they went in for non preheated oven. Um, like 11 minutes, 12 minutes. But if you were to preheat it, I'd probably say about 10. But then again, you want to check it at those intervals. So start at 5 minutes, check it at intervals. Because what you'll notice is little bits will start to actually burn once it is cooked. And then it's only a matter of minutes before the whole thing is black. <laughs> always lots of fun but thank you so much for watching guys hope you loved our cutie tutorial and have a good one